good morning welcome back and today will be my last class of this uh, course so i was doing this uh, how amplifiers behave at air water interface okay and i was telling that from the so when i put at the water and air interface in the beginning they are far apart so they are gas like they are gas like and it is always 2d gas like 2d gas two dimensional gas they are called now when i move my barrier towards this side then what will happen these amplifiers these head groups will come closer to each other and they will experience a repulsive force okay and this particular is called is it like a 2d pressure also known as surface pressure so this 2d two dimensional analog of pressure is called surface pressure all right so i will plot will plot area per molecule area per molecule in angstrom square area unit and here is pressure pressure means surface pressure okay pressure milli newton or meter okay and it looks something like something like this this is an ideal uh, situation and this is at a particular temperature temperature is fixed that's why it is called pressure area isotherm this is known as pressure area isotherm or langmuir isotherm when it is like solid like in the solid like case first is gas like then liquid like means they are closer to each other and solid like case will be when they are almost touching each other hydrophilic okay so when they are almost touching each other this is my movable barrier movable barrier it can be moved so this is a solid like solid like means they are touching each other and they are in a fixed now i want so only doing this is not good enough what do we want? we want we want to put this monolayer take this monolayer out in a suitable substrate a substrate means a substrate means like a we can put a 
quartz plate okay quartz means silica so is a quartz plate or a simple uh, glass plate with indium tin oxide it's called ito coated ito coated glass coated glass plate or as i said quartz plate quartz plate or from the glass on the glass we can coat it with an organic matter also so that it will become somewhat hydrophobic so it can be made some sort of hydrophobic the surface or we can leave it as it is when it is hydrophilic or even ito coated glass is also hydrophilic so we can make the uh, substrate as a hydrophobic or hydrophilic now before we take out this this whole uh, uh, layer mono layer of the amphiphiles we have to know how stable it is okay we have to know how stable this is so how do you know how stable to find out the stability of mono layer we plot at we plot at upon a0 i am writing what is at and what is a0 at at stands for area of the mono layer area of the mono layer at time t at time t and a0 is similarly area of the mono layer area of the mono layer at time t equal to 0 that means at the beginning okay and both so we measure both at a constant both at a constant surface pressure surface pressure pressure say at say 25 milli newton per mil per meter okay total surface pressure all right so this is 25 that means my i fix so physically you understand i keep the surface pressure fixed and i am doing this now this uh, this area of the mono layer I am determining area of the monolayer. That means, when suppose the monolayer is very stable, very stable, then what will happen? At initial time 0, the monolayer area was something, okay? area was A0. After say 1 hour, we find that there is no movement or surface pressure is same surface pressure is same means area also same okay that means the solid part uh, solid uh, head groups are still touching with each other to the entire entire area so i will tell you again when at time 0 
I find the area, area of the solid equivalent of the monolayer and solid equivalent of the monolayer is they are touching okay, entire area e and after say one hour. So, my time t here is one hour, after one hour I see again the area is same. I keep I kept my pressure constant. Okay. If my pressure uh, so in that case a t by a 0 will be equal to 1. What does that mean? They are 1 means my monolayer is very very stable with time at least up to 1 hour nothing happens. But suppose after suppose after 15 minutes Okay, after 15 minutes, I find the area less. How do I find area less? If the area less means some of the amplifiles will go down, go inside the water, then there is then there will be less pressure, surface pressure. So, to keep make the surface pressure 25, what I will do? I have to push the I have to push the movable slide, okay. I have to push it to make it 25. I measure all I measuring is 35 uh, is the surface pressure. I cannot measure the area accurately, okay. So, to, to from 20 uh, earlier it was 25, now it goes down to 20. So, I have to make it 25. So, I have to move it. That means, I will know that after 15 minutes to reduce my area, to reduce the, uh, to keep the, keep the surface pressure constant, what area I had to reduce it. So, that is my A t. So, if I plot now, so I am plotting this way let me plot. Time time say minute ok. So, here is 5 minute, 10 minute like this. Okay, and now I put a t by a 0, I plot. Okay. So, here it will be 1, here may be 0 0.98, 'll go to the okay so here it is 0.96 and so on so in the beginning it was say 1 and I find that with time up to 25 minutes let's fix up to 25 minutes or maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes, half an hour. Okay. So, I find that after a measure, I am here, I am here, I am here, I add them and I find that it did not, after 30 also I am seeing more than 9, 0.98, almost 0.99. So, what I will say that for this particular amplifile, this is a stable, monolayer is quite stable at least up to half an hour. Now, how it looks like if it is unstable, it will maybe first one will be here again, then second one will come here, third one may be here, fourth one here, 
here, here and here. So, it will come like this. It will vary like this. Okay. And if something is really bad, how does it look like? It looks something like this okay, at that instant of time. So, therefore, this tells us that this MP file is good and these are not good, these are not that good. In other words, if I have to transfer my monolayer to a substrate, then this is the one which I will be using. This two will be no good, they are not good, but this one I can use it. Okay. So, let us do that now. For a making it colorful, at least the last day, let me put if my if my substrate is not the pure uh, uh, quartz or anything, but I worked on it and made it hydrophobic in nature to some extent. Then, then what happens if I make hydrophobic in the nature? Uh, to some extent, let us see if I have this. Then what happens? I can put this quartz plate down like this. Okay. I can put it down and then while I am taking it up, everything by a computer at a predetermined rate, very slowly I do like this and when I go, then what happens? They will, they will be like this. Maybe I will go to this because this looks little bit jumbled up. Let me draw now. Okay. So, my MP file was stable MP file I must tell you one thing I am always touching this there is a, there is no point only touching sometimes it can go inside also depending upon the head group if the head group is very hydrophilic, for example, charged and this is water, then it will go inside also. So, you must know that in that case, they will be like this and then go. So, this is also possible, you must understand that. All right. So, now, now what happens? This is my stable solid like monolayer and what do I do? I put a substrate, okay. this is my substrate in down, okay. I put the substrate down and then when I am taking it up, Okay, I put it down. So, down, uh, down how it will be down? If you have seen in a pond, there will be some plankton okay, or something, moss and if you put something, uh, put a stick there, then the moss will be little bit moved. right? So, it is like that, it moved little bit, it allowed it to in. Now, when I am taking it out, when I am taking it out, then what happens? Then what happens? Then these blue things, then they will come like this or
like this they can come okay in another words what will happen if this is my substrate okay if this is my substrate they will come like this they will come like this. That means, I have transferred my monolayer to this substrate and they will be like this, okay. they will be straight like this. Believe me, they will be straight like that, they will not be like this. Not this hodgepodge thing, no they will be straight away like this because it is solid is a 2d solid like monolayer and it will be like this slowly they will come here they are coming like this okay they are coming like this they are coming like this and they will be like solid like this very nice and then when I look at it, it looks like this. Of course, the other side is also there. I am not bothering about that. So, this is a monolayer is transferred. If I now, then what happens? So, my monolayer is transferred mean basically, physically it means suppose I had lots of, suppose I had 1000 amplifiers. So, now I put 900 out these are 900, then 100 is left in the uh, in that phase air water interface and my pressure will be going down because uh, only few molecules, then I add again, okay. then I again add, add, I remove that barrier and start from the beginning, okay. start from the beginning. Again I add and then let it evaporate methylene chloride, it will be spread all around, then I start the barrier, but now I know the barrier will be around 25, if it is around 25, so be it. So it will come, it will be a solid, it will follow exactly, it will exactly follow the pressure area isotherm. Okay, if it is very stable. So, it will follow and then again the this thing means this one, this one by then it has dried up because it had some water and all that, water has dropped down, water has dropped down, okay. water has dropped, here is water drops and this will be dry and when dried it will be like this. Okay, so, it will be something like this. I can play with it, all right. Then I again put it inside this thing. Again, I put it inside, and again, while lifting it up, then some more. How they will come now? They will be coming like this now. Okay, they will be coming this now. Let us put it only one side, good enough. So, again I put another third layer, it will come like this. Okay, it will come like this and it will come like this. Then what is happen? This will I will be calling, sometimes it can come like this. Okay, or sometimes if depending upon the this 
this property of this head group, it can come this way also if the head group is not very charged. So, both ways possible. It can come like this, no, why it become like this? It can come this way also and keep on going. So, this is called X type, X type and similarly X type, similarly I have Y type in the Y type which is very common because it is hydro, the surface is hydrophilic and uh, y type this is this is x type now i am drawing y type okay y type can come No, Y type will be, uh, that is what I made mistake. Okay. Y type will come like this. Okay this is y type then this is y type so it will go on like that how many it goes we have done up to 50 layers without any problem 50 layers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 49, 50, 50 layers. Why not more than 50 layers? Because current went out, okay. electricity was out. That was done in BHU, Banaras Hindu University. Okay. So, we did not take a chance because if the current goes out, we will be in trouble. All right. So, this is a Y type. Y type and similarly Z type, this is Z type. And this is Z type. So, x, y and z type deposition and deposition can be hundreds of layers can be replaced, okay. can be poor, can be transferred from this Langmuir trough to this here and this is when it is monolayer, it is called Langmuir and when it is a multi layer like this, this is known as Langmuir Blodgett trough. Okay. Langmuir Blodgett film. So, so, Z type. So, we can have X type, Y type and Z type of films okay, by Langmuir Blodgett technique and these films are very, very important technically for technological. They are, whenever we need 
always we need thin films in making some uh, different areas of research, mostly material science. And for that purpose, we need precise and because these are molecules, so nothing can be more precise than these molecules, they are arranged. So, in a very, very precise manner, we could have multi layers, as many as we want, 10, 15, 50, 75, 100, 200, okay, and it will become thicker and thicker, all right. Thank you very much. So, this concludes my uh, lectures and I will be available with you through uh, whenever we communicate. So, more other things are there which I will be considering. For example, molecular machines and all that may be in supramolecular chemistry too. We did not, we, I cannot have more than 40 lectures in this uh, thing. So, I had to conclude it today. And about references, I will send you the references because I need the exact year and pre, uh, exact year and which press, those exact, if I can write just like that, it will not, you will not be able to find. So, those exact numbers I will get, I will collect and then I will send it. Thank you very much and good luck.